Yo, what is going on guys? Mama's coming back at it again with another hype video. You're probably wondering, Mau Mau, why do you sound so excited today? It's because today, we're gonna take an OG video and remake it. Many of my loyal OG subscribers will know that one of my very, very first video uh, that I uploaded in order to find my niche on YouTube was how I grew to six foot two with parents who are five foot four and five foot six. So how to grow tall with short parents, pretty much. And that video, to this day, has gotten over 200,000 views. And that is one of the founding stones of my channel, which I cannot thank you guys enough. But here is a major dilemma. That video was based on my personal experience on what I did to grow to six foot tall. Not what's the most optimal and science-based way. And to be frank, I don't think I followed the optimal protocols to grow taller. But still, I can't be mad at myself. Like, I was just an idiot 14 year old with no idea what I'm doing. But I just happened to get lucky. But I know that maybe everyone's not as lucky as me. And that's why today, I'm gonna share with everyone the optimal protocol that I would have followed from day one if I knew what I was doing. So therefore, all of you guys can grow to six foot without worries. Now, if you like this video, Make sure to subscribe, comment, share, turn on the notification bell to support my channel. And therefore I can post more content like this for you guys to help more and more teenagers around the world grow to their dream height. And without blabbing around, let's get straight into today's video. To start off my OG video, I begin the video by mentioning dieting and food. And to save you the trouble of watching the entire 10 minute video, I'm gonna sum everything up for you here. Pretty much what I said was, I ate my friend's food and I stuffed my face like a pig. So I ate everything in sight. And I also discussed the possibility of putting on extra body fat, which I said, it's okay to do so at a young age because once you grow up, the body fat will shred off eventually. So was I correct? Well, I said 50-50. A point that I mentioned was correct is not being picky which it is correct that you need to eat all kinds of food in order to satisfy your body in terms of all of the micronutrients, macronutrients for you to yield optimal height growth. But however, I do believe that you should prioritize nutritious food rather than a bunch of junk. Um, I'm not saying that junk is not applicable, but just not as much of junk, which I did mention in the video as well. But here's the catch. If you eat way too much junk, the body fat doesn't just automatically shred off once you finish puberty. <laughs> what happens is, usually you'll go on a calorie deficit, and that's when the body fat shreds off. However, if you continue eating that way after puberty, you will likely put on even more fat than prior before puberty. So, yeah. With more body fat, your body's hormone secretion system, your endocrine system, isn't going to be as effective as if you remain in the optimal body fat percentage. So yeah, it also depends on what age you are in. So if you're younger, it is okay to eat a lot more food than you need if during puberty as well. However, once you get older, try and squeeze a little bit more out of you, then like I always mentioned in my previous videos, I do think that it is more appropriate to eat healthier and stay at an optimal body fat percentages staying at optimal body fat percentages to maximize growth hormone secretion. My OG video mostly mentioned my experiences when I was 14, 15, 16, during which I was going through puberty. Hence why I was able to eat a huge amount of food. Take your age into consideration. I then go on to mention exercise. What I said for exercise was for you guys to complete intense outdoor team sports preferably that involves lots of jumping like basketball, uh, volleyball, soccer, blah, 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 all of that, which is also correct. I gave the example of myself in that OG video where I played lots of basketball, did lots of running around, especially everything was outdoors as well. So it definitely contributed to my body's vitamin D absorption from the sun, which has definitely helped out with my growth. However, this is why I messed up in my OG video. I went into detail on why you should not do resistance training 
how it's going to compress your bones and make you short, which was not science-based at all, because I did not do resistance training in my personal experience. And I also preached body weight training to, you know, help you grow as well. Here's the catch. Resistance training... Oops! Now, here's the catch. Resist resistance training can be really, really helpful in helping you grow taller if you don't injure yourself, especially at a younger age, when you don't always going, don't always go for the one rep maxes, use your ego over technique, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All of that. Resistance training can be really, really good in helping growth hormone secretion and stuff. And the growth hormone secretion from resistance training is going to be crucial to help you squeeze the extra few inches of growth even after puberty. Hence why I think it is crucial to do resistance training. But yeah, like I preached, do it safely. Don't, you know, don't be stupid with it. Resistance training plus high intensity outdoor jumps, jumping sports are the way to go when it comes to exercise. So yeah, I guess I did get 50% of it all correct when I was when I made that first video. The next point I mentioned, sleep. Perhaps one of the most important aspects of growing taller, what I said about sleep was that you have to sleep at a certain time, preferably before 12 o'clock, and then sleep for a very long quality time, preferably nine to 10 hours per night. Now, is that correct? Absolutely it is. I think that is what I got correct about growing taller. But I do think that what I said about the before 12 o'clock thing is a little bit extreme. Try to sleep before 12 o'clock. However, if you can't, it's not that big of a deal. Rather, a consistent circadian, circadian rhythm is the most important thing. For example, if you sleep at 10 o'clock tonight, you have to sleep at 10 tomorrow night, the night, day after, weeks after, months after as well. The consistency of the circadian rhythm is a key. You can't sleep at 10 and then sleep at 12 the next day and then sleep at 1 o'clock the next day and then sleep at 10 o'clock again, blah, 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 all of that. Because that's what's going to mess up your sleep quality. Last but not least, I preach the importance of confidence. Straightening your back up and walk with your chest out. That is also very, very true. I've preached it again and again in numerous of my other videos. So yeah, I got that correct as well. Overall, my exercise and diet protocols were okay at best. To be fair, they could have been a lot more detailed and better. And as I said, um, you guys can definitely do better than I did and go, you know, explore more of your potential growth than I did. If you have any other questions, I have many, many other videos going detailed into dieting exercises specifically on what to do exactly at different ages. So check them out. And with that being said, this is going to bring us to the end of another Mau Mau's video today. I hope you guys enjoy and best of luck to all of you. Peace.